JavaScript algos and data structures, basic JavaScript, and we are on challenge 98 of 113. So today we are going to iterate odd numbers with the for loop. Okay, so for loops don't have to iterate one at a time. Uh, we can change our final expression, which we know is the last part of the loop, the third uh, logic statement there. Um, so we can change that. We can even count by e we can count by even numbers. So we'll start i at zero. Uh, we can loop while i is less than ten, and we can increment i by two each loop with i plus equals two. So as we know, this is the same as saying i equals i plus two. Um, plus equals. Okay, so now it will contain the array will contain two, four, six, eight. And we can let's change change our initialization so we can count odd numbers. Okay, so we're basically going to do this exact same thing, but count odd numbers, so one through nine. Okay, so we're gonna start off say four. Let i equals one. So we start at one because we know we're gonna have to push one through nine to my array. Uh, and then semicolon, and we need a condition. We can say the same condition we we see in the example. While well, i is less than 10, i plus equals 2. So i add by add 2 every time. Uh, and then we will simply say my array dot push i. So i will be 1. It will push into the array. It'll check is i less than 10. Or it'll increment then. I will become three. It'll check is i less than ten? Yes, it is. Push, continue on, so on and so forth until i becomes eleven, and then it will check. It will not execute and not push the eleven into the array, and simply exit the exit the function, the for loop. So that's all we have to do for that one. I um, hope that made sense. Again, play around, do this challenge yourself. Kind of mess around with for loops in a code editor. Um, these are pretty fundamental to programming as a whole. So yeah, hope that helped. See you guys in the next video.